Yo everybody, what's up? It's me, AJ Raphael, and this is my yearly recap of 2013. There's been so much going on in 2013, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but just wanted to share with you a few moments from each month. Starting in January. In January, I released the first single to my new EP, Beautiful Escape, which was produced by Michael Alvarado, a good friend of mine. And at the end of January, I recorded with my band at Jesse Barrera's house, the JB Cave, for my EP, Beautiful Escape. We recorded Jet Setter, Matchmaker, Goodbye Chatham Square, and Here Tonight, the full version. So after recording, which was awesome, I went to the Philippines and I did some awesome collaborations with people such as Yang Constantino, KZ Tandingan, got to hang out with the Valencianos, got to hang out with one of my best friends, Gab, Pajamas. and we went to the wedding of Pau Valenciano and Sam Godinez, well, Sam Valenciano now, and it was such a fun time. Also got to go on the Bayani tour with Joseph Vincent, Jeremy Passion, and a lot more Filipino-Americans just trying to get in touch with our roots and, and our, the Filipino side of, of us as Filipino-Americans. March was my birthday month the 12th and I turned 24 this year which is pretty crazy I'm getting older I also had an awesome show at uh, University of Central Florida in Orlando and got to bring my band we all went to Universal Studios Florida and Disney World and it was just a fun time so glad we got to do that April was a big month because it was just promo and just a lot of planning to release Beautiful Escape EP which charted on iTunes so thank you guys so much it was number two in the Philippines which is really cool I'm very proud of that record and I'm so happy that Jesse got to produce another record for me this year. It's been a while since I had released new music so I was really happy to just release music especially with my new band Chad Manalo, Eric Kern and Andrew Rim. Such a fun time writing and perfecting those songs and, and arranging them as well. So yeah you can get that on iTunes. In June we decided to shoot the Jet Setter music video. That was going to be the first single to be released through a music video visually and we shot it with one of my good friends now, Danny Riel. She's really awesome and got to work with Ross Ching and Don Lee again. They directed and produced Without You, which was one of my favorite music videos that I've ever done. So I was really glad to work with them again. I also got to collab with the Fung Brothers on Asians Eat Weird Things, which went viral, which is really cool. So check it out here, this link and stuff like that. Also got to start a show called Music Lab, which was the show of my dreams, where we took three hours and we had to write, produce, and record a song, just choosing stuff out of a hat. Our first guest was uh, Joseph Vincent, and special thank you to Maker Music for letting that happen. Brett the Intern, Chad Manalo, everyone who was involved with Music Lab, thank you guys so much for a great season. In August, we went on the Matchmaker Tour, Matchmaker being one of the songs off Beautiful Escape EP. Got to tour with my band, Ross Turner, TJ Brown. It was really fun. It was in a bunch of cities that I wouldn't normally get to go to. That was a lot of fun. September was really fun. We got to shoot the promo to Red Roses the Movie, which is a project that me and Dante Bosco are really trying to make happen here in 2014. A lot had to be set back due to us not being able to raise funds. Other things that ultimately, it had to happen that way. We have a lot more time to work on it, a lot more time to cast it and different things like that. So look out for that. We shot the promo in Hawaii that month. I am divergent. We are few, but we are strong. You ready? Watch us face our, our fears. And find out where you really belong. And then we also did the finale for Music Lab, which broke my heart and hopefully it comes back sometime in the future. If not, I'm still going to be writing songs, maybe making my own Music Lab. We're getting closer to the end of the year and it's October and Berkeley College of Music and Loft Sessions we released a video on my channel of Without You. And it had strings, a choir, it was just amazing. You guys can check out the video here as well. We also got to shoot the music video for my song, The Happiest Place on Earth, which is a song I recorded on the ukulele. My friend Mike Alcaran, I think that's how you say it, he filmed it with his girlfriend Marielle, so thank you guys for doing that. It was a lot of fun. We got to just hang out what we do on the daily, but also get it on tape as well. And at the end of the month, I got to go to London for the YouTube Music Awards, where I collaborated with people such as Wang Fu Productions, of course, Ebony Day, Rex Pearson, Mike Realm, and lots more. It was so fun to be at Abbey Road. I never thought I would be there in my whole life, which is really cool. You know, a lot of history there. I got to play on the piano, 
over there as well. A lot of memories doing the YouTube Music Awards, so thank you YouTube and Google for bringing me out there and just being able to experience just being out in London. November was a tough month for me. My stepdad, Tito Joel, he suffered a coma after being assaulted by um, three random people on the road and he's still in a coma now so my mom had a really tough month our whole fam family had um, had a really tough month as well and uh, we're getting through it we're still praying we're hoping that he wakes up you know the doctors are saying he won't wake up but I can't believe that it's almost been you know two months that he's he's been in a coma and we're, we're just praying for him hoping for the best as well and also Typhoon Haiyan hit it was one of the most devastating natural disasters in the whole history of the world, which is pretty crazy. People are still homeless out there. People are still starving. There's a lot to be done out there. So you guys, for those of you who want to donate to the cause, check out this website called Charity Navigator that tells you what charities give directly to the Philippines and to the affected areas. And you guys can choose by reading and by reaching into your heart and into your pockets as well to give to the Philippines for aid. In December, I got to go to Hawaii to do a fundraiser for the Philippines. The fundraiser actually raised over $1.6 million. I met so many great people out there. Hawaii was an awesome place, but I'm glad that I was there for an even better cause. If you guys want to continue to support that, check out the links below as well. I also got to start my Christmas series this year, so you guys can check it out. I know it's not Christmas anymore, but it's still the Christmas season. And you guys can check out that all right here in the links and there's video clips and things like that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that Christmas series. We put a lot of work into it. Thank you to everyone who collaborated with me on that. You guys are awesome. And special shout outs to my family for always being there for me and my friends and my fans. And thank you for your support throughout the years. I've met so many people this year and have done so much this year. I know I can't s recap everything, but you guys know that you guys have made an impact on my life in such a positive way. So thank you guys so much. And here's to a better year. Here's to 2014.